the Seat Arona, the smallest crossover Seat currently offers. And uh, despite the fact that it's small, it doesn't have to be boring. Just look at the roof. It's got a two-tone roof, orange on the top, silver or gray at the bottom. Nice. I would also like to direct your attention to the front. I quite like it, especially these uh, Seat's LEDs and the, uh, the blinkers also look great. They'll actually attract quite a lot of attention on the road. Also, this car has quite a lot of equipment, so it's got a radar cruise control and there is a one liter three-cylinder engine under the bonnet, but more about that later. And the Arona looks more Spanish flamenco than something more subtle. And that's as it should be. Like I've said, why should a small car need to be boring and poorly equipped when it can be brimming with tech? Arona offers LED lights, radar cruise control, blind spot sensors, a rear view camera and a park assistant. The wheels can be spiced up as well. The base model does come with 16-inch steel rims, but those can be quickly swapped out for aluminium alloys for 400 euros. The higher equipment packages allow you to upgrade those to a further 17 or 18 inches. The differently colored roof is also a great opportunity to liven the car up. But now it's time to sit down into the mini SUV. But I want to take a look at the trunk or the boot first because it is a small car so I doubt that um, all of our equipment is gonna fit in. <gasps> it does! Look at this! It has to be uh, snugly squeezed in but there's still space for a bag or two. Fantastic! I won't bother telling you about how fantastic the Audi instruments, which Seat adopted, are, because they are brilliant. Of more interest is the interior design, which reminds me of the Volkswagen Polo, but does not feel as prestigious, even though it's still high quality. The infotainment screen loves attracting fingerprints, but its graphics are nicely designed and practical for the users. Along with automatic climate control, heated front seats, which are very welcome in the winter, Arona also offers wireless phone charging of compatible devices. But now you're probably eager to see how the Arona drives and what engines are available. Good news continues inside when you're actually driving the car. Now you would think that it's a small crossover, it's not going to be very good in the corners, but it's actually quite good fun. And um, this car, as I said, has quite a lot of equipment. So I've got a big navigation screen, I've got, um, well, the manual gear shifter is nice, it's Volkswagen quality, I've got um, heated seats, I've got LEDs at the front and the back, so quite a lot of stuff. Also, let me talk about this three-cylinder, uh, one-liter engine at the front. Just like in the Volkswagen Polo, you'd think, eh, it's just one liter, three cylinders, I'm not so sure about that. But for a small car like this, it's not bad. It's, it's quite good fun and it, it has that distinct three-cylinder sound. So um, the Seat Arona is not a bad choice if you're looking for a small crossover like this. Currently, the car offers 70 and 85 kilowatt petrol and diesel engines, while a 110 kilowatt petrol is available for the more sporty FR version. For those of you still doing these numbers in animals, that's 95, 115 and 150 Spanish balls.
The base Arona starts at 15,000 euros, while a fully equipped one with the most powerful diesel engine and automatic gearbox comes up to 28,000 euros.